And astaghfirullah, she's just gaining a bit of weight because of children you have actually got with her. So to preserve the woman and to treat her for what she is and her level, we are taught a few things. One of them is both men and women should lower their gaze, you know, protect. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan. And your girl Fanny Lungu. We are Fanny and Jesse. So, right about now, we're going to do another reaction. But before we get into the reaction, guys, we want to thank everybody who has been subscribing to our channel with the real MVP. And also for the people who have been giving us reaction videos, thank you so much. And uh, keep on giving us reactions. You can, like, you keep us going. Every time you give us reaction, we are always on our toes trying to find out and try to react them and yeah regarding the reaction videos today we're going to do another reaction this one was suggested by a lot of people and they suggested that we should go react to hindu brother asked on why men and women entrance are separate by most mank so without any further ado guys let's get it hello sir my, yes, my sir. name is uh, nila uh, mittal and i'm a student here i have one uh, one question which is short when I was coming here inside, I saw that uh, uh, that uh, men entrance is is uh, is uh, separate and uh, women entrance is uh, is separate. I just want to know that why men and uh, find uh, uh, women are being separated. I mean, I've attended many other uh, functions. I'm I'm a Hindu basically, so I attend Hindu functions and I, I also attend. Uh, these these functions in Hindu one I see that uh, that we all uh, uh, sit together, but here I am seeing that uh, there's a there's a separation here as you can see. May I know the what it holds in in Islam? My beloved brother, thank you so much, and I appreciate the question and your honesty and your bravery to have come up and questioned it. It's good. The reality is bottom line when we believe. We take instruction from Allah and His Messenger. That's how it stops. You follow what I'm saying? When we believe in Scripture, we, we've believed in Allah. We did, not impose, we did not impose this ruling on the rest of the globe. But for us, we believe in Allah and His Messenger, so we take instruction from them. If they have said something, it's closed. The chapter is closed. That's what makes us Muslim. And if we understand the logic, Alhamdulillah, that's good enough. If we don't understand the logic, there may come a day that we may, but that doesn't mean we won't follow the rule up to that day. We will still be following the rule. However, if you take a look at, uh, you know, the nature of a male and a female, Islam has protected the female such that any uh, attempt to degrade a woman to a sex object in any way whatsoever is actually blocked and stopped and considered taboo and a sin. So I don't mean to pinpoint or to pick on any other cultures, but if you take a look at people who perhaps um, are not that disciplined, you would find that you know the women who who lead lives that are uh, not full of the level of spirituality they are supposed to be upon would probably spend so much time, you know. Uh, with decorating themselves in order to go out of the home to impress people who are not allowed to touch them and who are not allowed to have anything. So basically the man would look and he'd see someone far better than his wife and he goes back home and he cannot you know, tolerate his wife because he's seen so many others. They've displayed themselves wholly and openly to the rest of the world and you can't have them. So it leads you to sin, we believe. And it leads you to not appreciating what the Almighty has blessed you with. You know, if everyone... In fact, I was just talking to one of my friends and I was saying, you know, if all the women had to wear loose clothing and if everything the men saw was women in loose clothing, we would appreciate the figures of our own women because we wouldn't really be able to say, oh, I've seen figures far better than yours. Now you're becoming fat and ugly. And astaghfirullah, she's just gaining a bit of weight because of children you have actually got with her. So to preserve the woman and to treat her for what she is and her level, 
We are taught a few things. One of them is, both men and women should lower their gaze. You know, protect your gaze. If you lower your gaze, wallahi, the day you look at what you're supposed to be looking at, you will appreciate it so much because to you, they, you know, you are not basing the, 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 the beauty of your wife on some of some women you might have seen on, on, on the internet or perhaps on the television or on the streets, but you're basing it on who she actually is. She's sacrificed, she's actually, you know, come forth and you have nothing in your mind to, to, to gaze it be with besides her and this is something really very respectful of us of a woman similarly the issue of dressing in looser clothing and this is for both male and female is also in order to respect where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is clearly advising us to dress in a way that people would not judge you based on your size and shape and what you look like I know of a lot of girls and women who become depressed because of their complexion and because of their size and because of various other matters and sometimes the men rub it in and they don't understand it's prohibited to do that so they are taught to dress in a specific way out of Allah's gift to them to say your value is not from your shape your value is not from your complexion you know people they go extraordinary lengths in order to just you know lose a bit of color May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard us. And then the last point I'd like to raise is when it comes to functions, uh, we know that a lot of the times, you know, if you have women and men mixed together, and I'd like to give you an example with all due respect of some churches that have women and men dancing together and, and they, they are all operating together and they move around together and Marriages are breaking my brother because you get very angry if someone had to look at your wife and smile at her and you know Wow, you know, there's two three types of smiles you can tell straight away There's something wrong here and then phone numbers are exchanged and things happen So we treat a woman as though hey, I need to get to this woman. She's too good. She's beautiful Wow, I just need to get there and then we use them and we leave them after a while and we're gone to someone else And this keeps on happening. I'm not saying it will happen because we are responsible people. I mean, today, perhaps if we had to meet one or two women, that wouldn't happen perhaps. But Islam says, close the door from the beginning. Just close the door so that you don't need to worry. Subhanallah. So if you look at a masjid, if, if I want to concentrate, I need to actually have the women uh, separated from me and they need to have me separated from them because I need to concentrate on what I'm doing and that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, if I get a beautiful scent of a female while I'm praying, Astaghfirullah, may Allah forgive us, what would be the condition of the mind? Imagine you're praying and next thing, what happened? Hey, the smell, Ooh, I wonder, look at that figure, Ooh, look at that. You're insulting Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala and at the same time you're not appreciating the gifts of Allah today We have a beautiful discussion of faith and spirituality if there are women sitting in the midst of men I'm not saying it would have been exactly the case, but you know how the world has been sexualized completely We are living in a hyper sexual stage of the globe It's the worst it ever was before people used to greet by shaking hands today a lot of the people greet by sexual statements and utterances and perhaps even you know intentions of taking people to bed whom they're not supposed to be with it's a fact may Allah strengthen us and may he forgive us and our children may he strengthen us all so if we have a separation there is a lot of respect that is one thing you can notice can I ask you one question can you notice the amount of respect we have for females if you notice there are females on my right they will have definitely noticed that this man did not give us a clean cut glare into the crowd where the women are I'm sure they would have noticed that why not because I see them as something intimidating because of the respect I have for the females somebody's wife somebody's sister somebody's daughter it could have been mine imagine someone stares at a face that is glaring from somewhere and the speakers just looking at this person and they go home and say <gasps> he looked at me he looked at me you defeat the whole purpose of the talk. Why are we here today? You defeat the whole purpose. I lose respect and people start beginning to spread rumors and so on. And we are supposed to be speaking of spirituality. So powerful question. I hope what I've said has just helped. But I'd like you to go deeper and research because I cannot do justice in just a few minutes uh, to what you've asked. I've only tried to give you part of the answer. And I hope that the uh, you know, gathering would appreciate what I've just said. Barakallah. Thank you, sir. I think it's a, it's a very important topic here. What he's just talked about is really, really important. And I, I feel like 
we're living at a stage whereby just women have been over sexualized and it has reached a level that there's a lot of divorces, there's a lot of breakups, there's a lot of uh, like ins and out of, of, of men just being with, with different type of, of women just because of one particular reason. You get this uh, woman, you feel like you want to be with her and then probably she start losing weight, she start looking some type of way and then you feel like, ah oh, no, I think I need to go to another one that is even much better with a much better figure, much better you know, complexion, much better hair and stuff like that and then you find yourself having like different type of women. By the time you get to the one that you want to marry, you probably you have like 20, you've gone through like 20 or something. Which is not the case here. I mean, su such an amazing talk. He said something about, and that's why I respect uh, I respect Muslims so much. Just for for them to respect their women, and for their women to wear loose clothes. Oh, of course, not all of them. Their women to wear loose clothes and cover themselves up and whatnot, just for the for the future husband, that's the ultimate uh, beauty, you get it. I mean, you wouldn't... Um, but just because you're covering yourself mm -hmm. doesn't mean that when your husband goes out there, he won't see those other ones that are not covered. Exactly. I mean, that's why he say that when they go out, they should lower their gaze. They get it. Exactly. Yeah. So now, I mean, uh, also the Muslim brothers, I think it's... it's uh, for them also it's like an ultimate respect like they can be able to lower their gears whenever they're out there and no, probably yes, Muslims, everyone yeah everybody like if you're owning your business out there you can be able to lower your gears i think that's a very very good uh very good gesture i couldn't have said anything better than the way he put everything down mm -hmm. i like the way he was so neutral mm -hmm. from the beginning to the end I think this generation, we're living in a world where um, men feel like they're entitled to everything. Just everything. When you see that, that's mine. When you see that other thing, that's mine. I know it's also in women too. Let's see. Don't say Well, my example is about men. Okay. You've confused me. What am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is a man that can lower his gaze that's something a woman that can lower her gaze that should be something maybe this is why he even makes you admire why they cover themselves why they dress the way they they dress because mm -hmm. everything has to be about respect but uh, yes a lot of strength too. we're living in a world where men feel like that they're, they're more manly when they look at other other women <laughs> which is not the case. I really have nothing else to say for this video. I just love everything that you said. Yeah, everything was just spot on. And the fact that he just went through like each and every nitty gritty and everything was just amazing. And also, um, also just to clarify what you just said. Uh, oh, and also it's true. Mm -hmm. Do you know some people actually dress up to go impress people out there? Yeah, yeah, a lot of Which people. is wrong. This is why people get the wrong people. information. A lot of people. Maybe this is why they even separate people. Maybe that a should be done people. more often. A lot of people. We find that a guy who just wants to dress up so that he can go to can go to school so that one lady can see. Even not only it's dressing. The most expensive the yeah. the perfume one got me. Not only dressing, just uh, even cars. You understand? Let me just go with this car so that they can see me. Ladies, uh, yeah, ladies wear some tights, whatever, so that that guy can see how you know. It's just, just weird. That's why people end up with the wrong people in their life. You end up being with somebody, feeling that you 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 got the real one. In the actual sense, you have something different. So you end up getting disappointed and you find yourself in a dilap uh, is it dilapidated dilapidated manner. And then you end up going to another person, then that person breaks you down again. I mean, there's so much going on. Cover self-respect at the end. That's why I like yeah. this culture. Cover yourself, 
Buy your yeah. your own perfect. Yeah. I just wish perfect. everybody could just cover themselves. No, I mean, but then it could he's be, explained it, could be really, it so well. He yeah. hasn't touched on he hasn't even related this to religion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very good. Yeah. I mean that's why probably they marry each other because they feel like when they go the other side. Because the women are respecting yeah. themselves. So when they go why the other do you need side? to marry someone that that looks like they fell in what all sorts of colors? <laughs> anyway, guys, if you feel like you reacted to this video on the bell, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down our comment section tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction. And what do you feel about this video? Right, it is such an amazing video by Mufti Menk. So let us know in the comment section below. We're gonna. Uh, read your comments and probably reply back and also uh, the most important thing that don't forget to subscribe to our channel to make you for subscribing then we we'll give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you better better content and last but not least we're gonna see you in the next video and peace out